The GPU is the most expensive component in your computer, so wouldn't it be nice if you could buy one for half price or even a third of the price and be able to get your PC for a lot cheaper, which means you can sell it for more profit if you're a PC flipper, or you can just build a much lower budget PC for you if you're just after that. Well, the solution to that may be buying a broken GPU and fixing it. However, that's not as simple as a lot of YouTubers, me included, unfortunately, make it look. So this video is about just that. So should you buy a broken GPU ever? And uh, if the answer is yes, which ones should you buy? Let's get started. Now, seeing as to how disappointing the availability on RTX 5000 launches goes to show to us just how important a GPU is in a gaming PC. Unfortunately though, when an item is high in demand and easy to buy, a lot of people try to pull scams on them. So you see a lot of ads for broken GPUs where I, that have a bit of a trained eye, can just spot immediately that they have tried to fix the GPU themselves and they are then trying to sell it after failing to repair it. And that is the worst card ever to buy because if somebody tried to repair it, somebody less experienced, they may have messed up the card beyond repair. And uh, if it was someone experienced, probably means the card is not fixable. So either way, you don't wanna buy it. Now, this is coming from me and uh, I have made probably most of my profits in my gaming computers by buying broken stuff. But that is from quite a few years ago. So this video is also part of my series uh, on, I guess, tips for PC flippers, how to become somebody who sells computers for a living, I suppose. Basically, back when I started, uh, there was a lot less knowledge on the internet about computers. So very often you could buy a PC like this uh, which is fully broken and uh, it was probably one component broken you could fix that and basically get a pc for a third of the price and make a huge profit same thing on gpus like you could see a lot of gpus with small issues you buy it you fix it you sell it and you make good money unfortunately today the market is a lot more efficient also because it's a lot more online with a lot less local pickups so you may find something like this now this computer is something i've built for a video and uh, I put all broken components inside of it. So every single component individually is broken. I just put them together to make a broken PC because I need to blow it up for a video. Somebody may, instead of using this for a video, sell this for a hundred bucks and say just a hundred bucks, you know, 360 millimeters, only one water cooler, uh, cooler master power supply, decent case, ROG motherboard, and they may try to sell that to you by saying it's a broken PC. And the worst part is they're not even scamming you because they're telling you it's broken. You may go ahead and buy it and find out it's all broken. So be very careful with whole systems. In general, if it is a broken CPU, you can do nothing about it. Broken RAM, you can do nothing about it. Broken PSU, Yes, you can solder back the capacitors, but it's very dangerous and pretty difficult. So you really can't do much about it. Broken all-in-one, you can probably fix the pump if you're very good. A broken SSD, you can do nothing about it. Broken hard disk, you can do nothing about it. So really the three items you can buy broken are motherboard, GPU, and all-in-one. But all-in-ones are very cheap nowadays, so they're not worth it to buy used. Motherboards are probably the most complicated thing to fix. So I don't recommend you buy them because uh, it's usually uh, damaged component on the board, scratched motherboard, damaged socket, or corrupt BIOS, but they're not easy to fix. But the GPU is actually the easiest component to fix. However, it all depends on which skill set you have. So this I bought broken and it's now working. I bought it for 80 bucks. It's a 3070 Ti and uh, it's now worth uh, around 300 bucks working. So I made 220 bucks profit by fixing it. To fix this card, I had to do a BIOS flash for some reasons, and I had to do a full reflow, dismounting the whole card, heating it up with a heat gun, and then repasting everything, closing it back together, and uh, doing like quite a bit of labor, also some materials went into it. So around, I'd say, um, three hours went into fixing it, but I enjoyed doing it, so it was worth it for me. You need to be able to identify the right card to buy. So which card you don't wanna buy? Well, first of all, depending on where you're buying your card from, look at the profile of the user. If the user is someone who sells a lot of hardware, don't buy a broken card from them because the more experienced they are, uh, the more likely the card is not fixable. You ideally want to buy a broken card from someone who knows zero about computers. And uh, if you're very lucky, maybe the card is just non-compatible with their system or it may be one of the following things, okay? So improper 
turn paste change it's very popular more than you guys would think so by just repasting the card you fix it often it could also be just uh, for example if the card is giving out uh, uh, just black screens maybe it's just overheating maybe the power supply of the guy is not good enough so you want to look for those things what you don't want to buy is a GPU that doesn't give out a signal or a GPU that is artifacting so this card here was artifacting I bought it either way because I knew I was ready to do a reflow and I was ready to uh, flash the BIOS before you even consider buying a GPU you need to acquire some skills now of course I'm not talking be able to repair the whole PCB because if you know how to fix the PCB why are you watching this video you're probably a repair technician which means of course you should buy broken hardware you know how to fix it you can turn a good profit on it but if you're just a normal guy you know how to build a computer but you don't know much else then you should not buy a broken GPU you should actually try and learn how to do BIOS modding I have lots of tutorial on the channel which you can check out you should learn how to do reflow how to do how to fix a broken GPU maybe by washing it as we show on the channel do not put it in a microwave like I tried on the channel that's a terrible idea okay but you should just uh, watch a few YouTube videos understand how you fix stuff and then start buying out really cheap broken GPUs uh, possibly older cards and then try to fix those you will gain some experience and at that point once you know how to do a few things again things which I think you need are ability to identify a, a badly done repaste so you can fix it yourself ability to do a reflow and BIOS flash and uh, basic overclocking understanding so if you know how to do those four you can then buy a broken GPU but you need to buy the right ones so artifacting ones are very tricky artifacting is fine if the card can run the game if the card gives out the error code 43 in Windows and it doesn't install the drivers don't bother it's probably a broken VRAM chip you need a reflow station it's complicated stuff for professionals not for us okay amateurs all in all though I don't think this is as much as a good business as some guys make it look for example on YouTube it's very popular those videos I buy 10 Nintendo switches and I fix them if I buy 10 of these I'm probably gonna just waste my money even if I fix two so my take on it for 2025 is uh, if you're a PC flipper if you want to make money selling PCs probably better off just building PCs with working parts I wouldn't really uh, venture much into the broken stuff if you get very good with the broken stuff you can make still good money mostly on GPUs and motherboard the rest uh, I wouldn't bother like genuinely you get a broken PSU it's it's broken leave it broken yeah that's my take on it but I'm actually very curious as usual this is the I guess the goal of my channel is to get a discussion in the comments so we can become a little bit of a community so I'd like to know uh, if you guys buy broken stuff or fix broken GPUs either for a living or for a hobby or if you've done it for yourself let me know uh, first of all if you think it's a good idea to do it and then if you think it is just give us some tips so we can fix more stuff and also reduce e-waste and just uh, enjoy some good broken hardware brought back to life the satisfaction you get when you buy a broken thing like this and then it's working again uh, it's very good so there are lots of positives to it if you enjoy the process even though they may not be economical and uh, if you're just trying to get a cheap GPU for you and it's your first PC definitely definitely stay away from broken stuff or stuff with issues okay and if you watched the video this far maybe drop a like and subscribe and I hope to see you guys again in another video bye bye